seeing as this is a lab, can be a little bit lazy, I guess. I'm going to set up SSH, but I'm going to allow root access. And I'm going to commit that too. And you should see SSH there restarting. Okay, uh, next thing, what do we need to do? A network address translation. Uh, I believe it's under service. And then it's NAT. Okay, set service NAT. I always tend to use rule 10. Okay, we need to set the outbound interface. The outbound interface, as you can see up there, is uh, E3. Uh, and then we need to set the source addresses. So this would be the your workstations, if you like. And as you can see from here, they're coming from that network. It is a network address too. Then we need to set the type. Okay, let's commit that. And save it. Okay, let's um, so what have we done so far? We've got DHCP on the WAN interface, as you can see there. We've got 10.0.0.2 on the R10 to VPN. Well, that's right. And on ETH5, we've got 192.168.2.1/24. That's the R10 to LAN interface, and that's right. Okay, what have we got next? NAT. Set up rule 10 to be the outbound interface of E3, or well, we know that's right. And then we set it to the source to be the address 192.168.2.0 because it's coming from that whole network and that corresponds to Ethernet 5. Have we got everything else here? I believe we have. Okay, let's pop over to the workstation now. Let's just check we have got some sort of internet activity. What I'm going to ping here, I'm not going to set up name resolution. I could do very easily, but I won't. Um, I want to ping open DNS just to check whether it works. And there we go. Okay, so open DNS again. I'm checking two things that I have IP connectivity from root 10 out. Also, I can reach my DNS servers. Okay, this is the wrong IP address. Should be 2. 10, which is right. The default gateway is 21, which is right. We can check that again here by doing the run show interfaces there. So this internet, this uh, Ethernet interface here, which is 192.168.2.1, 2.1, because our default gateway, of course, is root 10 here. DNS server is fine. Okay, now the first test is seeing if we can ping. There we go. Now, can we get out from there? Again, I'm pinging open DNS from um, the workstation. There we go. Okay, now the next stage is not to hit maximize. <laughs> next stage, check Internet Explorer. Okay, we don't really want to do the whole run once thing. And there we go, so we've got internet, ac internet access. So now we're going from here through the IP address and network address translation, network address translation we set up there and going out to the internet. Perfect. Okay, next stage. Let's now set up the VPN one box. Ah, and it's not turned on. Hold on a second. Okay, well, that's loading up. Let's just go over what we're going to set up on here. Okay, the first thing we're going to set up is the um, host name and then the IP address and descriptions, exactly the same way as we did on router 10. 
then we're going to set up SSH again the same way and then we're going to set up NAT we're going to set up NAT because we want this workstation here to be effectively hidden you have to remember that from here out is going to be the internet so if you like in here this is what some people would call the untrusted area of the network and then behind it is trusted so we want this one to have internet access via here so again we set net network address translation after that we're going to go onto the server and we're going to install we're uh, going to configure the server set up the IP addresses and uh, DNS and default gateway subnet mask um, and then after that we're going to install uh, IIS which is going to be the web server that we're going to be playing around with. I could have used Apache but IIS is easier for the moment um, and once we've done that we're going to test uh, the connection from um, the VPN so from the workstation all the way through to this interface here. Obviously once we set up VPN it won't be able to go all the way through here but it should be able to just reach there anyway. And then after that we'll test internet access from here all the way out. We'll see how that goes. Let's do a save again here and exit out. I probably will need to come back at some point but we'll just exit out for the moment. And let's log in. So root and viata Let's set up the host name. Set system host name. Uh, what are we going to set this to? VPN one. Let's commit that. Okay, let's set up the IP addresses. So I'll do our run show interfaces. Let's see which one's which. Let's disconnect that. Okay, that's E3, that's what we'd be expecting. And E3 is connected to VPN 1 R10. So here, we need to give it an IP address of 10.0.0.1. So let's do that now. Set interfaces, Ethernet, E3. Let's set the description. And this one is going to be VPN 1 to R10. Let's set the address, which is 10. 10.0.0.1 the slash 24 network and we'll commit that. Now as soon as we've done that with a bit of luck we should be able to do run ping 10.0.0.2 network is unreachable. Ah, of course it's unreachable. See if you can guess why. Because we've pulled out the cat 5. So it makes sense it's unreachable really. There you go, it links up. Now let's try and ping it. Okay, and there's the response. So there's us on VPN1 setting up the interface here, the IP address and the description, and then pinging across to router 10. Next interface. Which one shall we do? Next one along. Disconnect. I bet that's 5. There we go. Okay, so at the moment E5 is plugged into VPN1's LAN, so let's do that. Okay, so it's not 3, it's 5. And what's the IP address here? 92.168.10.1 and it's a slash 24 network. The description is going to be VPN1's LAN. We want to commit that too and we want to save it because that's pretty much all that we're dealing with. Okay, now let's connect that. Let's disconnect that because we're actually not going to be using it. So, show. I forgot the run bit. I just out of interest, you, this, this command does actually work. But it just shows you the part of the configuration that's got the interfaces in. There we go. And our downed one is the one we're not using. Um, let's be particularly good system administrators uh, and set the description 4E4 to not used. And let's commit that and then show it again. There we go. Okay. Now let's go into the 
machine that we haven't even turned on yet. Thank you very much.